Well, hello, Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev, and welcome to my channel. Now, this week's ride along with me is occurring on Monday, which it doesn't usually, but I had something specific I wanted to do. So uh, I'll try to get along with me. Not real long drive, just a simple one, but where am I going? Well, we happen to have a 99 cent store that's going out of business in town. Can you believe it? So I'm going over there. I don't know if there's much left or going on or if it'd be too crowded or what. But I thought I'd buzz over, see what's going on, and uh, maybe pick up some stuff if I go in. Now, if I get there and it's too darn crowded, oh, neat looking yellow Mustang too crowded or something I might not even stop but I'm using this as an excuse to get out too because Bobby's birthday is Thursday and I want to at least get him a card I generally don't because he's usually always with me you know when I go places so uh I decided that I'll go out. Let me let me change you around so you can see the sky right now. Isn't that pretty? Now it's in the late seventies today. It's supposed to be up in the nineties by midweek. So the the heat is on. The heat is on. So. Did you watch the eclipse today? Yeah, yeah, check out my little shorts video. I attempted to do it, but I didn't put anything over the lens, so yeah, you can't really see much, but I tried. I just went out there and turned my camera on, just left it going for about an hour. When the eclipse happened, there were no clouds in the sky, so. <laughs> Otherwise, let's see, this weekend, we went to a happy hour at the neighbor's house uh, on Saturday night. Instead of doing our own, they, we got invited to theirs. They were having one for uh, anybody that's kind of left in the park, of which there's still a lot of people. A lot of the homeowners haven't left yet, but the uh, our people with the RVs and stuff have, have left. So, uh. It's really, really clearing out the park, I tell ya. And, uh, boy, before I get on here, I, I always think of things I need to tell you, or remember to tell you. And, uh, and I don't remember once I get in the car. Let me turn you back on to me. Okay, I'm back. <coughs> Excuse me. My cough is slowly clearing up that stuff in the chest. We had a little bit of wind on the weekend, but my poor hair, when I see it, these, it looks good and I'm home in the mirror. And then when I get on the film and I start seeing it in here, I think, oh my God. Doesn't look like I have much hair. <laughs> I don't know how many of you follow me on Facebook, but we had some real exciting news last week. My son, who lives in, in New York and Pennsylvania, called me last week. And his son, who's 19, in his first year of college at Auburn, he just got word that he has received an appointment to the Naval Academy in Annapolis. The kid did it all on his own. Yeah. He has always been one that's into uh, history, like the World War histories and, and the equipment that they used and all kinds of stuff. And I always said, even when he was a little boy, I swear he was a in a military uh, fighting some war in a previous life. 
but he's always talked about wanting to go there and he couldn't get in last year but he didn't give up he kept trying so he reports on uh, June 24th I guess it is so that's going to be interesting to follow him through that you know <laughs> and of course my son and, and his wife are so excited I don't blame them I mean that's a, an example of good parenting too It's just hard to believe that that little kid who, when he was younger, used to, you know, scream and cry at the slightest little thing, and, you know, <laughs> and he was just an awkward kid, you know, I mean, it just, now he's just so much fun to be with, and, you know, no, just really happy pro-grandma. Okay, let's see, where is it at? I go to the right side. Now we're in a little, a little mall, you know, strip mall. And this store is in uh, where Fry's used to be. And when Fry's went out, they went in and Ace Hardware went into the, that big space. And when I went in there, one time, no, just on my own, oh, a couple of years, maybe last year, I don't know. I wasn't that impressed. I, I didn't stay. I, I went through, but didn't really buy anything. But I thought, well, you know, maybe they'll have some bargains that I can live with this time. Well, it doesn't look too crowded out here in the parking lot. Let's see, lady, I'm right behind you. So I'm going to go in. Uh, might be back pretty fast. We'll see. <laughs> Hang in there. Well, I am back. Well, it wasn't that crowded. But honestly, this is probably the wrong time to go because the highest percentage off they had was 30% on some things and 10% on a lot of the others. So, you know, I found some items which I will share with you either at the end of this video or in a different video in, of its own but uh, I don't know I don't think I need to go back even when their sales get more like 50% or something you know they have a lot of like the uh, food stuff Produce, that kind of stuff. I don't want to try any produce from there. I'm sorry. Um, so, let's. Uh, let's surprise Bob and come back home already. <laughs> Whew. Don't you hate it when you turn down an aisle? There's maybe two people in it who are together down in the aisle. And as soon as you get in there, it smells like somebody farted. Either that or shit their pants. Oh, God. Hang on, I didn't want other people turning in the aisle after me to think it was me. You know, the old lady. <laughs> so, <laughs> those are things I notice. I know. But see, I take after my mom, my mama. She didn't miss anything. She had a very keen scent of smell. Uh, she would not go into... Oh, well, am I getting across right away? She would not go into a nail place because she said, Oh, no, it smells like feet, dirty feet and stuff. And I, I've never noticed that, and I inherited her keen sense of smell too but i sure did not have never noticed that in any of them i've gone into yeah she'd never gone into one she just assumed well good thing i didn't go on the freeway they've got the traffic down to one lane over there because they're doing some repair work i knew they were going to be going going to be going to
If my mom was still alive, she would probably do some of these videos with me. You, you'd really like her. <laughs> She's a real nut, quite a character. She was kind of like me in the sense that when we were teenagers, you know, she had all the teenagers. The teenagers all liked her. Uh, our friends liked my mom. You know, uh, uh, when the car we'd be listening to the, the you know, the pop hits on the radio. <laughs> And I know, I guess I just learned that from her because I, I prefer hanging around with the younger people. <laughs> what can I say? I guess maybe because people older than me or my age don't seem to want to hang around me. <laughs> maybe that's why. <laughs> but uh, like with kids, I prefer hanging around with the kids who are teenagers then when they're little babies they don't do a lot for me now my own kids that's a different story but anybody else's kids it, it's just not uh but when they get to be teenagers that's when they really to me have the cool personalities and stuff and Now, let's see what's the temperature out here. 79, okay. So you could go into Walmart. But I don't know if I feel like it. <laughs> I feel like be better next week because we're going to be leaving next week on the th on the Thursday the 18th and I need to be some things we need to pick up you know like cat food for Cali Cuckoo and you know make sure we've got enough with us if you didn't see last week's video you know the one that we did our little trial run with her oh here goes a osprey flying above me she did great. I mean, she meowed a little in the beginning, and every once in a while she let us know she was back there. But for two hours straight, she was in the in that little kennel, and uh, by the time we got home, she was fine. So I, I think we won't have an issue with her outside. And of course, with the cloud coverage, it makes it real uh, humid. <sighs> okay, well, I guess I'll let you go. Maybe I'll just show you this stuff at the end of this one because I don't think it's a very long video for my writing along. But, so I'll, uh, I'll add to this video and, and show you what I ended up getting. Okay. Well, here's the part where you get to see what I found at the 99 cent store. So let's get started. Let's see if we get this bag first. It said there wasn't a whole lot. Let's see which one did I put the receipt in? Here it is. I only spent ten dollars and forty-four cents. <laughs> like I said, they didn't have. They had a lot of stuff in there. It just wasn't cheap enough. <laughs> You know, you could get almost the same prices at, uh, just put stuff on my lips at, not even Dollar Tree, more than Dollar and uh, or at the regular grocery store or Walmart. So I just picked up a few things. So let's start with this. They, they did have breeding cards. So let's see if they get Bobby. And that was 90 cents. 90 cents, yeah. Okay, I got this. I thought this guy was kind of cute. Instead of 99 cents, he was um, 70. I thought he could go up here next year. Yeah. Somewhere he'd go right behind me. Then uh, this. I wasn't sure how much this was, but I got one for the car, for the ride home, 
And that was a dollar forty. Now I can get them for how do you open it? I want to see what it smells like. Get them for less at Dollar Tree. But I'm not going into Dollar Tree this week. Oh, I think there's a little area where you <laughs> hot out there, I tell ya. And this is gonna keep getting hotter and hotter. It's supposed to be cherry something. Yeah, Coronado cherry. Looks like you, you take this off or you don't get peel it off here. Yeah. Yep, that's what you do. Strong, and then I guess you turn it, turn the lid. Maybe not. Anyway, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna put the sticker back on until we're ready to load up the car. Try to keep as much of the scent in there. Bad. Okay, then I got. I thought this was kind of cute. It's a furry owl journal. Free, it was, it, and it's furry. I should take it out and show you. I didn't get it for me. I got it for my little girl, Michelle. <laughs> I know she likes owls, and she she likes to write things. And she's very organized <laughs> when it comes to things. Yeah, it's soft. They had a light blue, but I, I know she likes purple. Yes, she did. Yeah, see, it's just a regular... Bring that for my girl. And that cost furry journal was $3.20. Not big discounts. These were like a dollar seventeen. I only got one. Yeah, one seventeen. And so was this Laffy Taffy. See, only uh, sweets I bought. See? And then let's see. Oh, I got this one. I think it's just one thing in here. And I was surprised at this price. It's just a bottle of soda, <laughs> but it's it's Pepsi brand, and I I love the ones that are like the wild cherry or any of those kind of scents. This was a um, dollar. A <clears throat> dollar not ninety. Well, you know what you're paying the grocery stores for these, and they also had Shasta, which is why I usually have Bob pick me up at uh, Fry's because that's the cheapest, and I don't care what brand it is, but uh, about the same price that the Shasta is, so that's pretty good, huh? So that's it. So see, I didn't really get a lot. I only paid $10.44. That's it. What'd you think? Please make comments below, share, like, and subscribe. Hope you're all having a terrific beginning of your week. I love you. Oh, I wanted to mention pineapple. And I want to clarify. I know that pineapples have a secret meaning to them. That if you put them upside down, it means that you're a swinger or you're looking for a, a swinging situation. Not us. Uh-uh. I just thought these were cute. That's all. I thought I'd mention that because someone said to me, you know what the, what the pineapples mean? I, yes, I do. But then I re-looked it up to make sure and it's only upside down. <laughs> so see, you learned something today. I love you all. Bye.